Hello and welcome back once again to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'm Eric Ferris, your host, and today we're going to take a look at something very interesting. The GTX 580 hit the market a few months ago from NVIDIA and it's been a very popular card for them. It's up in their higher range and the only card that you can get higher is the GTX 590, which is actually a dual card all in one. But as far as the single cards go, the GTX 580 is the number one card on NVIDIA's plate. Now today, we're going to take a look at one of those cards that's actually been remodified and redone all the cooling by Swift Tech. So this is the EVGA GTX 580 for the win Hydro Copper 2 card. This comes with a completely copper heatsink by Swift Tech attached to the card. But for now, let's take a look at this card and what comes in the box. So we're going to start out. We're going to go ahead and pull this little seal over here. I'm going to pop it and break the seal right there. This box has actually already been opened. Actually, my friend Ramson from Thermaltake actually uh, opened this thing first, sucker. And uh, for now, we're just going to show you everything that comes in the box. I'm going to spin it around. Off the top, we have the EVJ little quick installation guide. And then the inside of that, we have their CD with all the drivers and everything else. Now, one thing to take note, this card is a liquid-cooled card. If you're planning on installing this in your system and you don't have a liquid cooling system, you're going to run into problems. This is not an air-cooled card by any means. It's completely remodified. Here's some little additional notes by EBJ on installation. I'm going to show those up here. I'm going to pop the case up before you guys can see it. Then I'm going to pop this little top right here. All right, here are all the accessories that come in the card. I'm going to go ahead and pull all these out real quick so we can look at them just before we take a look at the card. Got a couple different things here. Got your DVI to VGA adapter. Got your Molex to six pin right there. Two Molexes again into an eight pin. Kind of a strange thing there altogether. And then here are all of the clamps and stuff that you're gonna need for installing it into a water-cooled system. All these clamps, when you attach the hoop, excuse me, when you attach the tubes to the card, this actually makes sure the card doesn't leak or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the card itself out of the box. Now this card is very heavy. Remember, you have a big old huge giant solid piece of copper on this card. A lot of you guys also ask me about handling the cards, about grinding my stuff out and stuff. I usually ground myself out on something that's around me before you guys usually can see me in the camera. I'm not just touching the equipment randomly and getting it all crazy. That would be nuts. But anyways, here's the front of the card. You see it says powered by Swift Tech. It's not really powered by Swift Tech. It should say cooled by Swift Tech because it's actually powered by NVIDIA. But I guess Gabe just wants to be arrogant right there and claim victory. Uh, but it's not really powered by Swift Tech at all. It's just cooled by Swift Tech. You can see up here, here are where your hoses and everything are going to go into the card. I'm going to flip the card sideways so you guys can see how very thin this card is. Compared to the regular coolers that go on a card, this is actually a very thin, thin card. I'm going to spin it around again one more time. You can see you have your 6-pin and your 8-pin power connectors. Against your 6-pin and 8-pin power connectors we have here. And then I'm going to see here. Let's see what else can we see here. Let's show you the bottom. One thing to take note about this card, though, as well, is the rear plate is completely covered. The rear plate is completely covered all the way across. This means you can set the card down on a table and stuff like that, and the card's not going to get shorted out. This is a really good design altogether by both Gabe from Swift Tech and the people over at EVGA. Now, the RIO, the RIO is kind of weird on this one. It just offers a single mini HDMI port and two DVI ports. So no display port here. That's only coming on the 590 series and some of the ASUS cards. So basically what this card is, is this is a GTX 580 that's been stripped of all its cooling and had a whole new cooling solution applied onto the card. This is the card. This is what comes in the box. Thanks for watching. This is for the win, the GTX 580. And this card is ready to be cooled by Swift Tech Cooling. Thanks for watching.